second. Hi guys, welcome back to 26th part of the Arduino tutorials. In this video, we'll be working on the LDR sensor. And also at the end of this video, I'll show how you can control the LED bulb based on the input from the sensor. So this topic, you can easily use it for your automatic street lamp based projects. For this tutorial, you need an Arduino board, LDR sensor module, a LED bulb and some jumper wires. Before moving to the connection, I'll just give the basics on the LDR. LDR stands for light dependent resistor. So when you give more intensity on this, the resistance decreases and there will be a current flow. And for lesser intensity, the resistance value increases, which prevents the flow of current. From this, we can make out the LDR is an analog sensor. But in our project, we'll be directly going with this module, which has voltage divider and ADC arrangement to convert the analog input to a digital output. So at the output, we'll be directly getting the logic high or low, which makes our work easier. Coming to the connections, the VCC and ground of the sensor goes to Arduino 5V and ground. And the digital output of the sensor, I'm connecting to digital pin 7 of the Arduino board. And LED I'm connecting to digital pin 13 and ground. We'll start with the coding. First, we'll declare the sensor connected to pin 7 with in data type. I'll give the name as LDR connected to 7 and this is an input pin. So inside setup will make this pin as input using pin mode. So using digital read, we can read the value coming from the pin. So whatever value coming from the pin 7 will store that value to a variable. So similarly here the variable to be declared with int x I have taken the name. First we'll try to see the value of x on the serial monitor. So uh, we have to initiate the serial communication with 9600 baud rate and here we'll be printing it x. So we'll upload this and we'll see what are the values we are getting in X. And later we'll try to interface the LED with this. So now I'll open the serial monitor. By default, the values are one here. If I take the light near to the sensor, as we can see, it's changing to zero. So moving further, we'll use this zero and one states to control the LED bulb. Now we'll try to add the LED code. First we have to declare it in the declaration section using the int data type. I'm giving the name as LED itself, connected to 13. Since the LED is an output device, we'll set the mode to output inside setup. And here we have to just use simple if statement to compare the state of X. If X value is high then we'll switch off the LED using digital write 
it will be 13 comma low and similarly if we are getting x as low then we'll switch on the LED 13 and here it will be high so that's it it's very simple we'll upload this code and we'll see the result so if I take the light near to the sensor the LED is turning on and LED is turning off when light is away from the sensor actually you can also modify the logic if you want to do a automated street lamp project that when there is no light your LED should turn on or your street lamp should turn on so just we are modifying high and low comparison And finally, if there is no light, the LED is getting turned on. And with light near the sensor, it's turning off. So this is actually the correct way if you want to do the project. If you get any issues, you can just leave a comment below. Visit the link in the description for code and circuit diagram. For more such interesting tutorials, Subscribe to us and also follow us on Instagram. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again in the next tutorial.